Well, greetings <clears throat> on this Monday. Lee Harder with you from the TND. We should have to say that there's probably some good news out of a bad news story. A highway patrol trooper gets uh, shot making a traffic stop in Bamberg County. He's injured in the face, actually, but appears to be going to be okay. Suspect continues to flee, ultimately runs into a dwelling in Branchville. We don't have any further information as yet on the details surrounding that part of the incident, but at least it, the good news is that the trooper appears to going, be going to be okay. It's a dangerous world out there, and uh, we have to thank those people who are willing to be our um, public safety protectors, that's for sure. Lots of detail today on a proposed housing project on Riverbank in Orangeburg. Uh, the Planning Commission has rejected the call for this, what, what the developers are saying would be a very upscale development, has lots of opposition from the folks from Riverbank. You can read all about that today at the tnd.com, where you're also being encouraged, being encouraged by previous blood donors to the Regional Medical Center's blood bank. Now that that has moved over to the, a, the call to be called the Blood Connection under MUSC, these donors are encouraging people to still continue to give. Completing the heritage yesterday, Matt Fitzpatrick wins the tournament. Uh, we are also offering to you today some, uh, the, the, the another in the special columns by um, sports writer Bob Gillespie. I think you'll find those interesting. You can find his columns all from th throughout the heritage, which give you give you a little different take on what's been going on at Hilton Head Island, where the weather held out and. Uh, the Fitzpatrick beat uh, the defending champion, Jordan Spieth, in a playoff. Interesting week, a weekend, according to some more, more detail coming to you about spring games uh, this week, too. And spring games, a lot of them held Saturday. Hope you have a great day.